Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. If this is your first time here, what we do is we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer. Sometimes a spirit will drop by and we take a look at the artwork. We read the description and crack it open to see if it meets expectations. Now, there's three steps to <coughs> our tasting here. What I do is I always have the same style of glassware. That way none of the beers have a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. Also, most people, when they do a tasting, they'll take a look, they'll sniff, sip, and then speak. What I do, I take a look, I sip first, then sniff, and then speak. Why? Because sometimes the nose can give the taste buds hints that aren't really there. I'll let Master Sommelier Fred Dex explain it all to you. He does it a lot better than I do. And finally, the temperature of the beer. All ales should be served at around 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit because they ferment at a much higher temperature. Lagers, on the other hand, they can be served around, say, 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit chillier because they ferment at a little bit of a lower temperature. That way you have an optimum for all of the aromas and flavors for that particular style of beer. I explain it right up there. All you have to do to find out what flavor, what temperature your beer should be, just check it right up there and you'll find out. Okay, I always use a thermopen. That way I know that if the beer is a little bit cold, I might be missing some of the flavors. If it's a little bit warm, I might be getting a few more esters. There's a link down in the description box. You can uh, buy your own, and that way you'll know the temperature of all of your beers. For those of you who have been here before, okay, let's get started. Here we go. From the Bronx Brewery, a tattooed pumpkin, 7.5% alcohol by volume, $5.99 at the local beer barrel. And government warning, I, if, uh, I'm over, if, if I'm pregnant, I shouldn't drink this and I don't have to worry about that. And consuming this may impair my ability to drive a car or operate machinery. I'm not doing that either, so I don't have to worry. Okay. It's an India Pale Ale brewed with pumpkin and seasonal spices. 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's got a, one of those scan things there that's a useless. I'm an old man. I don't do that type of stuff. I want to read it. It's, it's not on a label. But it's not helpful. All right. Boy, I'm a grouch. Okay. An India Pale Ale brewed with pumpkin and seasonal. Essentially, we got us a pumpkin ale. It got a nasty looking uh, cover on there, boy, I tell you. That's whoo All right. Well. I'm expecting a, a, it. It's this is only the 25th of August, and they're coming out with uh, pumpkin beers. Yeah, what the heck? All right, we'll crack it open and see if it's a pretty decent pumpkin beer. Well, there's a surprise. It's clear. Seems to be clear. Well, eh, it's got some haze to it. Don't, don't, it, well, yeah, it does. I can't see myself through there. All right, well, it's got the right colors, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> it looks like a pumpkin ale. It's got a nice, oh, I can smell, I can smell, I can smell spices from here. That's given off, that's, that's not fair. All right, well, it looks like it. Let's try the first swig. Cheers. Well, that little fella is spiced up to, yeah, first nosedive. Yeah, there's a, <clears throat> there's not much of the spice in the nose. 
And in fact, there's not much there at all. Second swig. All right. The reason I take two swigs the first time is, is what's called an acclimation swig because your taste buds have no idea what's coming. I mean, you got your brain's got an idea, but your taste buds, they don't know. So the first swig, those little fellas or gals or whatever, they, 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 they're confused. So then you take a sniff and see if things match up and try a second sip. And then they're looking for something. They know what to expect. <clears throat> so they start to uh, deconstruct in the flavors. And uh, it's a little bit easier. Th this is going to take a third swig, though. <clears throat> when, I'm, when, I want a when I try a pumpkin beer, I ex I'm expecting cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. They've got some interesting uh, herbs in here, or spices in here that just don't, they don't quite match the profile. But they just don't. So, in closing, does Tattooed Bronx Brewery Tattooed Pumpkin meet expectations? Well, I suppose if I had paid a lot more attention to that, to the late, to the, 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 the yeah, that, uh, I might have been scared enough to, to expect it, but it didn't quite, it doesn't, it doesn't meet my expectations of a pumpkin beer. Sorry about that, guys. Well, if you like this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. And leave a comment, especially if you tried this. I'd appreciate it. I'm the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.